Let's turn now to NBC's Steve Kornacki. As promised, he's over at the big board for a breakdown of what we can expect in next year's presidential election. All right, well, we are approaching once every four years, the big one, the presidential election year 2024 almost upon us. So let's take a look here at how politics have kind of and how the election of 2024 has kind of taken shape in 23 and the big questions we're looking at as 2024 kicks off. So first of all, who's going to be the Republican nominee, presumably against Joe Biden at the start of 2023? This seemed like a very uh, up in the air question. You can see the trend line for the candidates. And remember, at the start of 23, Republicans were coming off a pretty rough midterm. Term. Candidates who'd been closely aligned with Donald Trump had lost key races in 2022. At the start of 23, Ron DeSantis was running pretty close in the poll average to Donald Trump. And then look what happened. It just exploded here for Trump and went the other way for DeSantis. What happened right around here in the calendar? That was when the first indictment of Trump came down, the one from the Manhattan District Attorney. It almost seems to have triggered a rally around Trump effect among Republicans. And that's just held all year through all the legal drama and every Everything else that's happened. And here we are at the end of the year. And in the average, Trump just, you know, lengths, open lengths ahead of Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley and Ramaswamy and Christy, too, for that matter. So uh, we'll see in the early contests if any of those candidates are going to have a shot here to beat Trump. They're probably going to have to make some noise, whether it's DeSantis in Iowa. He seems to really be trying to plant his flag there. Haley in New Hampshire. She's gotten some encouraging polling news there. Can one of them beat Trump in one of these early states? Of course, Haley's South Carolina will play a key role among the early states as well. Can one of them beat Trump in the early states and make this a race? That is what we're going to find out in the first six weeks or so of 2024. How about the Democratic end of things? Joe Biden seems poised to be the Democratic nominee. What kind of year has he had politically? Well, again, he started 2023 coming off those good midterms for Democrats and his approval rating, you know, 46, 50. Wasn't that bad, but it's taken a hit this year. And as we start to close out the year, our final NBC poll had him at just 40 percent approval, 57 percent disapproval. How does this compare to past presidents entering the re-election year? Here you can see it. Here's the 40 that we have Biden at right now. These are all the final polls heading into the election year, re-election year that NBC conducted. You just see all the recent presidents. Look, Trump got beat in 2020. He was at 44 heading into his re-election year. Bush Sr. got beat in 92. He was at 52 and heading south rapidly uh, there. But you see how that number compares. That's the lowest. That's the lowest in an NBC poll for an incumbent facing a re-election here. But it is a tight race when you poll Biden versus Trump at the start of the year in the average of the polls nationally. Biden had a two-point advantage. Now, at the end of the year, it is Trump who, on average, has a two-point advantage here. It's a very, very close race, obviously. Uh, and what are the concerns of voters, the dynamics we'll be talking about uh, if this race does materialize? Joe Biden, of course, is the oldest president ever at this point. Uh, and his physical fit, his fitness, his age, about three in four voters in our polls say it's a major or moderate concern. Big thing in 24 is going to be Trump's legal situation. Are there convictions? What goes on in the courtroom for him? 62% right now say that's a major or moderate concern for them. Would that number change if there's, some, if there's a conviction? Would that number change based on how these cases start to sort out? Big question, obviously, we'll be following well into 2024. And this is interesting, too. Just there is clearly what this ballot question is showing you here is matching Trump against just a generic Democrat. Trump loses sizably matching Biden against a generic Republican. Biden loses by double digits. It's just showing you broadly there's not a big appetite for Trump versus Biden, even though it seems that each party, at least as we enter 2024, is poised to go in that direction. And that leads to this final graphic here, a poll from the uh, Wall Street Journal recently. They included a bunch of third party options and against Biden and Trump, they added up to 17 percent. That's a big question heading into 2024. Is there going to be a real third party candidate to create a wild card? this. Steve Kornacki at the big board where he's going to be spending a lot of time in 2024. Steve, thanks so much. Join